So, as a non-fan who's been avoiding this movie for the most of their life, I think it's the only movie uh, that people really like that I avoided next to Milan. Uh, is this one that's the only one left? I've seen Hercules. I've seen Hunchback of Notre Dame. Uh, actually, kind of recently, like the last 10 years, I saw that one, but I never saw the original Little Mermaid, I guess because I was a, a boy back then, and I didn't care about an obviously movie made for girls back then. Maybe that was it. I didn't care about fish people, you know, mermaids. I didn't care about that kind of stuff there. I really didn't care to see the movie at all. You were one of my way to watch it. The only part I was experienced in when it comes to the Little Mermaid was in Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2. That's the only experience. I knew Ariel, I knew King Triton, uh, and and uh, Sebastian. Um, so like I knew the gist of the the storyline because every part of Kingdom Hearts rips directly from the source material. So I figured I seen the whole movie when I when I played the game, and I was right. <laughs> um, they didn't have all the songs in the game, obviously because it's, you know section by section, taking the best parts of it. Um, but like. Um, like, Undersea was in the game, and I believe, like, Part of Your World was in the game as well. So I knew of those songs already. But I never went on a way to actually watch the full movie before. Never. I've seen three-hour movies. I watched Bollywood movies, which are like two and a half hours on the regular. But I never gave the 90-minute Little Mermaid a chance. Not because I hated it, just because, naturally, I didn't want to see it. Um, I don't know, there's, you know... Like, like if someone said, you want to watch it? I'd be like, sure, whatever. But I never went out of my way to see this thing. By the way, I never saw Up either. So, like, I've been wanting to see Up forever. But for some reason, I haven't gone, I haven't seen it. I saw Big Hero 6 after, like, many, many people saying, get up. I think because Kingdom Hearts 3 came out. And I wanted to, like, know of Big Hero 6 before I played the game. So that's why I, I watched Big Hero 6. But I never saw Up. That's uh, I saw. I think I saw Ants. Not really. I don't really think I did. But like I, the, the more popular ones, I never saw Up. So back to the Little Mermaid. Went to go see it in IMAX today. Well, today now. Um, but anyway, and uh, I had a chance to see it. Uh, it was very like the very last ticket was being sold in a good section of the movie theater, because I know what the movie theater is like, and it was a good section, it was a good seat. So, I got there, got a poster or two, or three or four, and I got the light-up popcorn bucket as well for like, what, 25, 25, 30 bucks, whatever. So, I got that. Why did I get that when I'm not a fan? Simple. It's because the bucket does something. It lights up. It's really cool. If you were to see it here, it will look it looks really cool. With shadows and effects and lighting. It's not just a regular popcorn bucket. It's, it's really special looking. So they, they put a lot of effort into it, so that's why I wanted to reward them with that one. So, um, I had like so many... I, I wish I had like fucking... I wish I had four hands, bro. So many things I had in my hand. You, you wouldn't believe it. Um, so, um... So the movie, I knew what to expect uh, based on prior history of things, um, but in the movie, I was pleasantly surprised at Ursula. Super duper ultra wickedly evil. I would put her up there as Jafar level of evil, and that is top level chicanery right there. You literally cannot be more evil than these two characters right here. They literally screw you over any time you get next to them. It's ridiculous. I've seen some Baldwin movies. It's rare. Baldwin movies where, where bad guys are super evil to the point where they manipulate everyone around you to fuck you over, which is like, that's Baldwin shit right there. This chick right here, this witch, literally, would literally tempt you, like, like on your lowest point, stalking you to the lowest point, and then offering you an irresistible chance at freedom in exchange for something very precious to yourself. And then when and then when she gives you what you want there, she put in a little extra something to manipulate. So there's no way in hell you're gonna be able to do that. 
And even if by some chance she does happen to do that one, she got a backup plan to screw you over anyway. She's going to literally go in there at the last second herself there and, and block you before you can hit the shot. Even though the, the wish was made for Ariel to do everything herself there, Ursula said, no, I'm going in there myself there, and I'm going to screw you over. <clears throat> damn. She would not let the girl do it herself if she had to be involved. I'm like, damn. Even if, like, Ursula sent somebody else in there, that's still foul shit. You couldn't let her do it herself there. You, like, she, you had to screw her over, put a little addendum in there, saying that she that she would not remember the kiss part. I'm like, god damn. <laughs> Like, like, a, a deal's, that, that wasn't even like, Ursula said, like, a deal's a deal. I'm like, no, no, a deal is not, that was not a deal. You screwed with that, that is Roman Reigns level of chicanery right there. You want to fight Roman Reigns one-on-one? -on -one? Oh, hell no. You're going to have this and that and that and that coming out of you out of, out of nowhere. Uh-uh, it ain't one-on-one, -on -one, it's one-on-five. Hell no. <clears throat> if you give her the three in that match, two more tickets, place. It's ridiculous. So, like, in reality, quote-unquote reality, Ursula would have won. There's no way he gets screwed over. He literally monkey spawned that wish. It was ridiculous. Okay, so about King Triton. Uh, King Triton was basically a racist, per se. He didn't like humans because a human killed his wife. And she was right. Like, it's one human. They're not all like that one. So, it's a little back and forth between those two. The sisters, which are not featured here, they not really play a, a prominent role in the picture. Um, so, yeah, yeah, overall, it was a really good picture. Uh, the music was very good. Um, Aquafina had a singing number in the picture. Could you believe that one? Aquafina, yep, the one from Shang-Chi, the one from, uh, North and Queens. Yeah, that Aquafina. She had a singing role. It was, it was quite a fast, hard rap. And I'm telling you right now, uh, Ursula had, I think, I believe Ursula had the, the, the best, the best music uh, like, like, uh, the best score in the picture, yes, yeah, like, um, Ariel got the, the big clap when her, when her first song came up there, the audience was clapping for that one, and, uh, Aquafina, when she did the rap thing as a seagull, and, and, and Sebastian, I think it was a brand new song for the movie, so, it, like, it was all over the place, it was really good, it was like, it was going a mile a minute, then stopped, and going back to it, it was really good, so, like, when that song was over, the audience was clapping for that one. So Ursula had a bomb ass song. Ariel had the usual songs that she usually sings, but the uh, but um, Sebastian uh, Under the Sea was in there. That was really cool. That that got a clap. And Aquafina's song near the end of the picture that got a clap. So yeah, so like uh, the the singing got claps. Not necessarily the action, uh, not necessarily the drama or storytelling, but the the musical numbers. By the way, my theater had to be ninety nine percent LGBT. LGBTQ, XYZ, AA+, and Lemon OP. A lot of them, bro. There were so many guys that felt like it was a locker room. Bruh. So, yeah, that was fun. Um, yeah, overall, yeah, overall, it was, uh, yeah, 3D, 3 or, 3D are not there, absolutely 3D. From the very beginning of the picture there, I saw, like, little, little fishies going around there, uh, King Train staff, the lightning effects, uh, the bubbling effects of the water would pop out more. So, yeah, seed in 3D, if, if you want to see in 3D, that's, that's fine. I don't know if 40X is necessary for this thing. It wouldn't be bad, but it is what it is there. I believe the next big one is a, a Spider-Man across Spider-Verse. It's not in 40X, bro. You know, it's funny that I've seen Flash, Little Mermaid, and Fast X, but I've not seen Spider-Man yet. Uh, ironically, Transformers is Monday. <laughs> so yeah, um, so yeah, it'll be a trip to see these movies. But the one I wanted to see more than all of them is Spider Man. I've been a Spider Man fan since I was fucking forever, man. So, uh, so I have not seen any screenings for Spider Man, not in New York anyway. And uh, yeah, I'm pissed off. So that's it for now. Clack off. <laughs> Good movie.